woman is sometimes told, or even not told, as just a throwaway remark after a scan, but she has a low-lying placenta. And when she probably goes home and Googles it and finds that if you have a low-lying placenta, you need to have a caesarean, because if a placenta is right over the way out, plainly, a caesarean is the only way the baby could get out. And thank goodness for caesareans in those circumstances. However, women worry unnecessary in the vast majority of cases. I think it's more than 99% of cases that the placenta is out of the way before the baby was born. And sadly, these throwaway remarks are made without a proper explanation. What happens is that if the placenta is quite low at, say, uh, 30 weeks, in the last trimester, in the normal growth of an uterus, it's the bottom quadrant grows a lot, and that growth simply pushes the placenta up out of the way. So by the time the baby's born, there's plenty of room for it to get out. It's not as if by some sort of mystical means the placenta takes it into its head to trot off somewhere else. It's perfectly normal in the normal growth of the baby and the uterus, but it's just gently, naturally, and normally pushed out of the way and then birth can be normal, natural, and hopefully with KG and the birthing comfortable as well. Thanks for watching the video. It's been great talking to you, and we've got plenty more that you'll be interested in. So in order to see it all, just click here to subscribe. Mm -hmm.